Okay, over there is the Disney Wonder. Then you can see the Odyssey of the Seas. And over there is the ship I just got off of, of the Celebrity Edge. And you might be wondering, Don, what are you doing? That doesn't look like your house. No, nope, I'm back at the Hilton Marina because it's been an interesting day. So you saw my video where I said earlier today, if you haven't, go check it out and then come back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a really interesting day. Okay, so today started off with last night my test was cancelled and it was rescheduled for 8 o'clock this morning. I go down at 8 o'clock, they say they're running late. The team has just gotten on board, they're still down on deck 3, uh, they're not even on deck 4 yet where we are. I don't get tested finally until around 9.30. Noon rolls around, I'm over by guest services waiting because that's where they said they would send my message that I have my results. Never got my email, never got anything. Finally, uh, after asking over and over again what's going on, they, uh, they said I have to get off the ship. The, that everyone who had their test results is clear, uh, uh, that had their test has been cleared, you'll get your email shortly, but you have to get off the ship now. And I said, so wait a minute, you're, you're getting us off the ship, but I don't have my email, of my confirmation for my flight. So yes, sir, we, we need to get people on board, so we need to hurry and start getting people off the board. You have to leave now. So I left now. That was at noon. Um, I got to the airport right away, around 1. Uh, got to, finally got through to guest services at 2. Uh, my flight was at 12.30, by the way. And uh, no, uh, I still haven't received my results and now it's four o'clock I call they called the port they were talking to the testing team they re-asked me my name my my when I took my test what room I took my test from uh, what kind of test did I get uh, what's my email address did my date of birth all that stuff all over again and I still don't have my results so when I called emergency travel to get new bookings and everything. No, uh, no, there's nothing there. When I finally got guest, guest relations, they're the one who started calling the terminal and the port and everything. They helped me out as far as, you know, at least finding out, no, there is no test, no email has come through yet, etc. And they said, it's four o'clock. They said, just call, uh, call back emergency travel at five o'clock. They have every, all your information now and they'll let you know what's going on with your test and how, what we're going to do with flights. So I can't book another flight until I find out if they're paying for it or I'm paying for it. Um, I ended up booking a hotel uh, back at the marina where I was before. And yeah, that's been my day. Just on the phone, on hold, trying to get this solved. So I am not back in Canada. My flight, as a matter of fact, would have been... Uh, taking off for, from Toronto to Ottawa right about now. And uh, I, when I called Air Canada to cancel, you know, see about canceling the, my flight and everything like that, they said, hello, right now we are experiencing an abnormal amount of phone, of, uh, phone volume. Your estimated wait time was two and a half hours to five hours. So I went to a hotel. And uh, let's see later on, uh, what five o'clock when I have to call <laughs> when I have to call emergency travel again and see what's going on with them but uh, such a really great cruise with you know I love the staff the ship is beautiful we had a lot of fun my room was gorgeous and then to be ruined by this it's leaving a very bad taste in my mouth and what happened is at the beginning of the day they started testing kids first and then they started testing international travelers that was a mistake why are you testing kids first instead of the people who need to catch flights and need to make it out of town 
That made no sense to me. And as it turns out, I am right. They are wrong because lots of people were sitting over at the airport, missed their flights off the Celebrity Edge. So I don't know what the thinking was there. Oh, kids are rambunctious and everything. Yeah, but you can bring the kids up to the buffet for an hour and it's not a big deal if you're driving somewhere in 20 minutes in an hour. That's not such a big deal. If you're applying with kids, that's a different story. But international travelers have only a couple flights to find and make. And even if we have to switch it, I may not even be able to get a flight tomorrow, the next day, the next day. I might be here three weeks to, to get another air flight. Uh, who knows? Because there's literally one or two a week with Air Canada right now. So I'm not a happy camper. And I'm going to see... Uh, they better not try and offer me economy flights, neither, because I was in business class, because I got a really good deal on business class flights, and uh, I miss them. I'm not happy right now, so let's see what kind of results I get. I'll keep you informed, but can you tell in my voice that I'm just a little annoyed?